I'll be right with you. I'm writing an angry email to Honda telling her she's got a really high money factor and she's not even all that special. Is that too mean? No, it's a little bit too mean. No, I gotta say it. I just gotta say it. Guys, Honda is getting ridiculous with this money factor situation. Now, some of you that are logging onto this video aren't gonna be leasing the Ridgeline, but I guarantee you the greater majority of Honda's customers are lease customers. And the fact of the matter is, is that their cars hold their value insanely well, but we get punished by paying a really, really high interest rate money factor on a Honda lease. Now this is super, super important and I wanna get to exactly how that breaks down in a Honda Ridgeline lease. Coming up next. What is happening guys? Ari here with Boston Automotive Consulting. Here today to talk about the 2019 Honda Ridgeline and today specifically, I'm gonna be focusing on the Sport and the RTL E. Two of my subscribers, one of them by the name of Edward Nelson and the other one, Legend17, they both asked me to do a video on the Honda Ridgeline. And guys, first of all, I wanna say thank you so, so much for subscribing to the YouTube channel and constantly giving your support and interacting. Guys, back to my point. Some of you that are looking at this car are planning on purchasing it, and that's fine. And a lot of you are wondering what you can get for a lease payment on this thing. And I wanna focus a lot of my attention on how to go about doing this deal, regardless of which scenario you're going for. But I wanna encourage you to purchase this car instead of leasing it. You're gonna find out in the end of this video why I'm encouraging you to do this. Now the MSRPs that I'm gonna be using on both vehicles, the Sport is a $36,335 MSRP and the RTL E which by the way, Legend 17 is a lot more popular, especially in New England. This is what shows up on cars.com when you do a search. The MSRP on the RTL E that I'm using is 42,915. Now, if you were to go in and either pay cash or finance, the markup in a Honda Ridgeline is eight and a half percent. And typically dealers don't advertise this car on their websites lower than the eight and a half percent. Now, if you're going in planning on purchasing in cash, expect there to be a little bit less wiggle room on the price of the car if you're not gonna be financing. If you're gonna be financing, the APR that Honda offers is 4.69. So clearly there's a lot of money to be made on the financing end of things so that the dealer can afford to like give you maybe $500 below the invoice price. However, what you wanna do is you wanna go in there with your own interest rate and still ask them to cut you a discount below invoice. And that's, I wanna leave that completely up to you. However, I notice usually a thousand below invoice on a Honda Ridgeline is somewhat of a crazy thing to ask for from these dealers. Given its popularity and demand, all this other garbage that they'll probably feed you, a thousand under invoice price, essentially 4,500 on the RTLE and 4,000 on the sport, you may be asking a little bit too much. However, go for it anyway. The likelihood of you getting 3,500 off the RTLE and 3,000 on the sport is a little bit better. And I'm gonna be using those variables for the next part of this video, which is if you're gonna be leasing the RTLE or the sport, and I wanna encourage you not to, and here's why. Originally, when I started off the video, I said something about the money factor. If you recall, they're charging way too much on the money factor. So a 0 .00240 money factor at tier one credit rating. As in, even if you've got perfect credit, a 5% interest rate is what they're asking you for on a Ridgeline lease. Now the reason why they do this is because the Ridgeline has a 66% residual. As in, if there was no major interest being charged on this lease with a 66% residual, it's possible that the sport could be leased out for like $300 and the RTLE for about $399. However, Honda doesn't wanna make that possible and they're gonna to wanna to capitalize on the fact that it has a 66% residual. So essentially plugging this all in, going after that 3,000 on the Sport and going after that 3,500 on the RTLE, 66% residual and 0 0.00240 money factor. And with just the inception fees, do it start, like your first payment, dock fee, acquisition fee, all that other stuff up front. On the Ridgeline Sport, we're right above $420 a month. And on the RTLE, we're right under $500 a month. 
Now, this is something I don't commonly do, but whenever there's a high money factor involved in these leases, I want to give you guys a little bit of information. Now, the chart that you're going to see right next to me is a breakdown of how your lease payment is comprised. You're going to see that the orange part is basically just the depreciation on the car, as in you're paying for what the Honda is losing in value. And then the red part is all interest. And then the rest is just your state sales tax. So really you're looking at this as basically your payment is like 300, the interest is like a buck 50 and the tax is like 20 bucks. So really, really I'm, this is the biggest reason why I want to encourage you not to lease the Ridgeline. And if you are to at least wait a little while, maybe wait until Honda reduces the money factor because that's money that you're literally throwing away every month in interest. So Edward, Legend 17, guys, I hope that this video shed some light as to what Honda has been up to in the last couple of years. They love to capitalize on the fact that everybody loves Honda, Honda doesn't lose much value, and they basically charge you for it in interest. Sucks, big time because I really love Honda too, I really do. If you found this information useful and you wanna see more of these new car buying negotiation tip type videos, please consider subscribing. Thank you so, so much for watching guys. We'll see you next time.